Morning everyone, welcome to the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel. Uh, as you can tell, another signing, but in the title of the video, James McCarthy. Obviously last night I did tweet about it when I heard the news, but um, it was about one o'clock here in Turkey in the morning and I was like, I'm not doing a video now, so I'm gonna wait till the morning. Uh, that time is now. My initial reaction to the signing was, well, we all knew it was coming really. It was early in the day, it was reported. Um, the main bit of news and the main thing I wanted to talk about really about uh, about the transfer itself was that the transfer fee was originally 8 million, but it's rumored now to have gone down to 3 million. Um, and in my opinion, that changed the whole, uh, my whole thought process behind it. When I first heard that he was gonna sign for Palace, I was a little bit, I was a little bit, Disappointed, I'd say, just because I think that he's a bit injury prone, as we as we know in the past. I didn't know whether we needed him, especially if Camarasa was coming in. I think our squad depth at the moment in centre midfield is very, very strong, which has not been something we've had to say in the past. Um, so I was a bit slightly concerned, but then to see the price come down to three mil, I think that's a fantastic bit of business for from us to be honest. Three million pounds for him. If you look now, Cahill, Ayu, um, Camarasa. And James McCarthy, all for around 10 mil, 10 mil altogether, is really, really good bit of business from us. I know it's taken a while to get it done. I know that uh, we still need right back and a striker, and I'm sure that right back and striker will be coming into the club at some point today. Um, deadline day, of course, had to get the had to get the palace out for deadline day. Obviously, there'll be a number of videos today at some point, um, depending on how the transfer activity is is going at Palace. But I will be doing a number of videos today when signings start coming in. Um, but yeah, James McCarthy done and dusted over the line. Thought first thing this morning, gotta get that uh, video sorted. Um, yeah, in my opinion, for three million, good signing. If it was uh, over over five million towards the eight million sort of bracket that uh, it was reported yesterday, uh, early yesterday, um, I was a little bit less excited about the signing. But for three million, it's a chance for um, on the web club website. It was Parish said it was a chance for him to restart his career after his injury problems. Apparently, Roy was very very involved, heavily involved in this transfer in terms of convincing McCarthy to come to Palace. So it's good insight there into the transfer dealings and a bit more about it. It's, it seems like Roy's taking some matters into his own hands and is and James McCarthy's clearly a player he wants to see in the squad. For me I think he's just a backup. I can't I can't I can't realistically see him being a starter. Um I see you know the likes of Kiate and Camarasa like starting ahead of him. Um it may be a MacArthur replacement. It, MacArthur's starting to come towards the end of his time, I think. Um He's, he's obviously such a reliable player, and I can't. And I'm not going to say that he's going to go anywhere just yet. But I think, in terms of a few years down the line, I think that McCarthy is the, going to be the player that you know slots in for MacArthur, uh, or at least rotates this season for MacArthur. Um, so yeah, McCarthy over the line. First of hopefully a couple more. I think we're expecting at least two, maybe three more signings today. Got Mike Bridge, of course, at, um, at um, the Beckenham training ground. We've got Bridge covering Palace for deadline, which is great. Uh, got to love Michael Bridge. And yeah, so hopefully we get right back in in a striker today. And then I think it's a, sex a successful window, to be honest. Um, if I'm being really greedy, a backup winger as well. But I want to try and just compose myself right now. Um, so yeah. James McCarthy in. Let me know your thoughts down below. For me, good good player. I think he's going to be a backup player in all honesty, but I think he's a good player when he's fit. Um, a lot of praise from Everton fans as well. So that's a, a lot of Everton fans want to wish him well and, and rate him quite highly as well. So it's always good to hear when opposition fans, um, who the players played for in the past, have given him a lot of um, backing. You know, that like shows that he's a good pl club player. He's a good player in general on the pitch as well. So good signs there too so let me know your thoughts down below guys comment like share subscribe and obviously more videos will be coming later today um thank you guys so much as well the channel has been shooting up with subscribers obviously past 2000 and i really really appreciate that um i can't thank you guys enough it's been a great year so far for the channel hopefully we continue into next season and have a great year for palace fingers crossed we do not know but as always um yeah it's going to be a hectic hectic deadline day obviously more stuff on Wilf to come as well. Hopefully um, we can sort that situation out quite quickly. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna just enjoy the sun here and I'll catch up with you guys later.